Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself, live your absolute best life, and make sure that you get an amazing laugh on every single day. Hello everyone, please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I appreciate all the love that you give to me. I appreciate you all supporting my channel. So I am currently about to do a reading for the air signs, and that would be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, right? So we're going to see what's going to come out in this simply amazing reading. I'm going to go ahead and claim that it's going to be something beautiful, right? <laughs> okay. First card out is the, look, I said I'm a claim it's going to be something beautiful in the first card out is a star card, some sort of wish coming true. Um, you being in that energy where you're making things happen, you're trusting in yourself, you're having faith too. You're having faith in the universe. You're having faith that things are going to turn out well for you in this life. Um... I get that you've been putting in a lot of work and you sort of want to see the fruits of your labor too, air signs. Okay, then we have the devil card, but it's in reverse. And so I get that you are sort of getting over that energy where you felt like people are controlling you or you want to get out of that energy where you feel like you're being manipulated or controlled, like you don't have a way out, Um this could be um, concerning a Capricorn or something like that. The star energy is an Aquarius energy. Um, and the devil card is like that Capricorn energy. But I get that you are just in that energy where you're tired of having to deal with controlling situations. Situations where you feel like you can't move about the way you want to in life. Or things that are constricting you, constricting your, your thinking, your moving, um, how you progress or something like that. And then we have the three of wands. Beautiful. You want to see your ships come in. You're waiting to see your ships come in due to a lot of hard work. Um, things progressing in your life in a, in a major way. You're ready to see things turn around and you're ready to see things um, prosper in your life. Um, I get you, you may even be working with a few people to make this happen. You may be deciding to unite, like create your own like um, trio or something like your own trio to get um, to make things happen in your life. I get that you're looking to see things happen, like change, prosperity, growth, happiness, joy, um, removing yourself from being bonded or feeling like you are connected to people who you sort of can't trust or people who have tried to manipulate you in the past, I get that you're sort of breaking free of that and sort of putting air, space, energy, be, like you're sort of like putting that, that you're giving yourself elbow room. Um, I get that you're telling people, I need to breathe. I feel too constricted here. I need to breathe. I need to be able to do my own thing. Then we have the daughter of wands. And so you're dealing with a situation that is very, so it's something that you really have to go through. Um, and I get that you're sort of in that energy where you're like, okay, you know what? I want to learn as much as I want, like you want to learn certain things. Um, you're passionate about getting to another level. You're passionate about seeing things progress. Um, visionary, you know, being, being that person where you're visualizing yourself, you're trying to manifest certain things you see. It's like you're using your own mind to, you're seeing yourself do better in life. Um, I get that you want this free spirit. Like I said, with this devil card in reverse, you're tired of feeling confined. Like you can't really move about in this life the way you want to. Um, I get that you're a free spirited person um, and you visualize yourself. You're a visionary. You can see yourself doing well. You can see your dreams coming true. And it's just like you're not willing to just like you want to go ahead and, and sort of settle down and have this family. But I get that you're also 
focusing more on your career. So you're dealing with some things where you're like, okay, do I want to focus more on my career or focus more on settling down and having this family? But I get that you're more career driven because you feel like if you build a stable foundation, then you'll be able to provide for your family the way you want to. Um, I also get her sign. You can be a little bit stubborn. Um, and people think that you're a lot stronger than what you are. I get you, you that you take on more than you should. Just because you just because you want that image that you want that image that you're strong, you can handle anything. Da 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 da. But I get that sometimes you just need a break. You just need to step away and feel that somebody is there to be there. Like if you step away, that everything is still going to be okay. Like the whole world is not going to come crashing down. Um, I get that you keep trying to be strong for everybody, but you really do need somebody to be strong for you sometimes. Um, I get that people also underestimate you too. Like they really do. They sort of like underestimate you. Um, they don't realize that you are not the person who they want as an enemy. Um, I get that they people sort of like... They underestimate you. They sleep on you. Um, I get that you're also a good person to work with. You're very, you could be an extrovert or very, um, so you could be like that type of person. You make a good teammate. You're willing to like, once somebody set a goal and you're like, okay, this is the goal. This is what we need to do to get there. This is what we're, so it's like you work well with others to make dream, like to make things happen. Um, I get people do recognize this about you, that you are a very good teammate, that you work very well. Um, I get you do have some people who are sort of even envious of the fact that you put in so much work and it appears to be so easy that they sort of take you for granted. They don't realize that they don't want to be on the other side of you. They don't want to, they don't want you to be their enemy. I get that they've even tried to control you and you're breaking free of that. You're breaking free of somebody who do not really want to work with you. They want to, they want you to work for them. They don't want to work with you like a team, like a team player. They want to control the situation. They want to have full control. I get that you're not having that air sign. You're like, hell to the no. Nah. Like, I'm going to do me. Like, I'm going to do... You. I get that you have... You're, um, you've put in some sort of like hard work in the situation. And you're looking to see these dreams come true. You even see yourself doing 10 times better than what you're actually doing now. You're like, you know what? I don't have to deal with this because I see myself doing better. Like, I don't have to deal with this. I get that that's what you're feeling like. Um, then you have the seven of cups, but it's in reverse. So seven of cups speaks of like procrastination when it's upright. It speaks of like procrastinating, not moving forward, not making a, a choice, a decision in something, having so many options that it's almost like you're you're sort of addictive to, you don't know what to choose, right? Um, I get that you're, you're sort of narrowing things down because you feel like having so many options, and this may sound kind of weird, but you can kind of figure it out on your own. Having so many options have made you have have sort of kept you stuck or sort of like in a controlling um, situation that kept getting you into problems. So it's like now you're sort of narrowing things down, taking control of your own life, taking your control back from people who thought that if either somebody tried to make you out to be an option like Oh, they, somebody could have even told you, like, I got so many other options out here, like, whatever. Arison, I get that you felt like this person was trying to control you, like telling you they had so many other options. You see yourself, you know your real talent, you know your real gift, you're tapping into it, and you're and slowly but surely, you're seeing your own worth. You know that you are a great team player. You know that already. You're looking to see your ships come in, right? 
So whoever is not watching, whoever is not appreciating you, whoever this individual was who thought that they were going to try to keep you trapped or control you or manipulate you or play mind games with you, you are making them realize that you're no longer an option for those kind of games. It's like make a choice. Get, get Look, what, what's that saying? Oh, shit, or get off the pot. I get that's what you're telling them, Air Sign. Like, make a choice because if you don't make one, I'm going to make it for you. That's what I get. Mm -hmm. You're putting your foot down, Air Sign, and rightfully so. Um, I get because the Seven of Cups even speaks of like addictions. I get that you're getting things under control in your life. So if you were addicted to something, it's like you're you're sort of cleaning up your life in every aspect. Because you want to get rid of certain addictions, things that are unhealthy for you, or either dealing with people who have addictions, where you're like, okay, you know what? I don't have time for this because I have dreams that I'm trying to see come true. Wishes. You know, you're having faith in yourself. And if anybody is not on board with like seeing you progress or helping you progress, and they don't share your vision, I get that you're putting like you're sort of distancing yourself from that, from them. Wow. Okay. Then we have the nine of pentacles. Wow. Air signs. You know, this card speaks of dreams coming true for you to have the star card and the nine of pentacles. And the it speaks of not only dreams coming true it speaks of like independence you working very hard to create a luxury a luxurious life for yourself living that beautiful life that you've always dreamed of but you're doing it as a single person though it's like you may have decided that you know what i put my all into something I've given my all. I refuse to be controlled. I get you're breaking free from somebody who is trying to control everything about your life. Um, I get that you may have even drank a lot or smoked a lot or like just was in some sort of like addictive sort of like repetitive um, energy where you couldn't quite make a choice because you felt blocked or stuck or stagnant. In a situation, I get you're breaking free of that. You're you're about to enjoy some sort of independence that you never quite had before, that you never quite experienced. I get because you're you're a visionary. You see yourself doing better, so you're literally manifesting it in your own mind. You see yourself driving a certain kind of car. You see yourself living in a certain kind of home. You see yourself wearing certain kind of clothes, having a certain amount of your bank account. And due to that, it's literally happening slowly but surely in your life. That's a beautiful thing, Arisan. I love it. I love it. You know I like it a lot. This is a night. Oh, woo. Woo. Usually I do readings for Pisces. Shoot. I kind of wish this was a Pisces reading. This is beautiful. I get that you're such a great team player. Like you work very well with others. And you worked well with others. I get that you have taken on more than you should have from controlling people. But you did it because you wanted to see your ships come in. You wanted to see progress. You wanted to see some sort of like your business take off or things like progressing your life in some sort of way. Um, yeah. So you tolerated things from people because you felt like they could help you. I get that they started using something as a control mechanism. You got sick of that crap, air sign. You said, look, whatever. Oh my goodness. Okay. We got the 10 of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. Um, this the, you could be, like I said, this is okay. I get it. So the nine of pentacles of right speaks of like independence, you living that luxury luxurious life, um, doing well for yourself, working hard towards something, independence, like by, being by yourself, um, whatever, right? And then you have the ten of pentacles, but it's in reverse. So air sign, I get you're sort of leaving like a family life behind that you feel almost controlled or entrapped by 
thigh, you could be saying, this makes me, I drink so much because I got to deal with so much. Or I smoke so much because I got to deal with so much. It's like you're deal. It's like you are doing something because you feel like this family life is almost drowning you. Like you don't feel free. I get that you want your freedom or somebody could be telling you they want this family life with you. And you're sort of feeling like, okay, like I just kind of want to be a free spirit. You envision, you are envisioning yourself. You're a visionary. You're envisioning yourself doing very well, like living a good life and, you know, being independent and having your own money and, you know, making your dreams come true, having that dream girl, having that dream guy, living, living in that dream home, driving that dream car. I get something. This could be your own family that you feel like that is too controlling, Somebody where you feel like you just have to continue to, so it's like something you could be telling them like, y'all drive me to drinking, y'all drive me to smoking, like I can't even deal with this crap or something, like y'all y'all are really getting on my damn nerves or something. That's what I get. Like something is like you're telling these people. It's I get that you are working really hard though, air sign. Um, but it's like you're recognizing your worth, and you're not tolerating somebody else's nonsense. You're not tolerating like mind games or something. These control mechanisms that they use to keep you stuck. It's you're breaking free of that. That's a beautiful thing. And then we have the fool card. You're you're about to take a new start, a new decision, go out on a limb. You're trusting yourself. You're having faith in something. This could be you just jumping out there, starting your own business. You're having faith in doing this. You're having faith that things are going to work out. That since you put in so much hard work and you work so well as a team player, that you definitely are going to see your ships come in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful air sign. I love this reading. Simply amazing. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to clarify with one. Um, where am I? Where's my all my oracle decks? Okay. Let me know. We're going to clarify with three cards, okay? And I'm using the Star Sea Oracle decks. I'm waiting for my other cards to come in. Um, they should be here in like a day or two. So, um, but we're going to clarify with the Star Sea Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell. Spirit, what would you like for air signs to know about this Three of Wands? What would you like for air signs to know about this Three of Wands? Spirit, what would you like for air signs to know about this three of wands it says the golden children inner child tenderness innocence rare gifts air signs you've been provided something some sort of gift you're considered like the golden ch child so maybe you're the oldest sibling maybe you're the only girl, the only boy, or the youngest sibling, or something about your your title stands out where you're considered as the golden child, the child that people, other people should follow your lead. I get that your innocence has helped you get to another level. You have rare gifts um, that help you get accomplished things and open it, and it opens doors for you. Um, and I get that you're recognizing that too. You see that within yourself. It's like you're seeing the older you get, the more you see your value, the less you're letting people control you or manipulate you or something like that. Okay. And then spirit, what would you like for the air signs to know about the star sign, about the star card? Spirit, what would you like for the air signs to know about the star card? It says, we the Hathros, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. You're birthing something new. I get that you are turning into a new person that people are not used to seeing. It's like 
it's like you're birthing something. You're you're getting the nourishment that you like whatever it was that was making you feel like you it was okay to be controlled. It's like you're breaking free of that now. So something is happening in your life like mother's milk nourishes a child. That deep love from a mother to child nourishes them. It's like it's birthing new things in your life where you're able to walk through portals and have new experiences or something. Again, you can be considered as like this, the golden child as well. And I'm going to pull one more oracle card to finish out this reading. And so I love this reading. This is simply amazing. This is beautiful. Like you are just like living your truth, feeling so strong about yourself, um, knowing your value, knowing your worth. You are, you're, you're a visionary. You're seeing yourself do better. Therefore, you're acting better. You're making better decisions. You're thinking better. You're being more prosperous in your life. It's bringing prosperity. I love that air signs. That's beautiful. You're not allowing people to control you. Like you're like, no, like. I know who, what I want, what I'm going to have, where I'm going to be. You believe in yourself, even if other people don't believe in you. That is an amazing power to have, Air Signs. That is amazing. Straight up. That's a beautiful thing. You're believing in yourself. You're having faith that everything is going to work out simply amazing in your life. I love that air signs. You're not allowing people to manipulate you, play mind games or something with you. You're taking total control over this situation. And that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. I get that whoever this was that was really trying to control you um, is going to throw a bitch fit. <laughs> whoever this was that was trying, this could be your own family. Who was trying to, like, you could have told them, like, y'all drive me to drinking or y'all drive me to drugs, like, you know, or something like that. Because the seven of, of cups in reverse speaks of, like, I mean, like, upright, it speaks of addictions and stuff like that. I get that you're putting something, you're stopping something, some sort of bad behavior, and you're making a choice. You're making a sound decision. You're no longer confused. You're no longer procrastinating about something. You're making a sound decision. It's pertaining to your family, too, with this Ten of um, Pentacles in the um, reverse. It's some sort of stability that you feel like you don't have. You feel like you don't have stability. Something had a hold on you. It could have been addictions. That you felt like because you were addicted to something that it caused a lack of stability in your life. Because the Ten of Pentacles also upright speaks of like having stability and found in that good foundation or something. Prosperity, financial security. You could feel like this has been something, some sort of addiction or having too many options has hindered that in your life and kept you stuck. It was like a controlling mechanism or something. Yeah. Okay, Spirit, what would you like for us to know as a combined with the rest of the cards that's left in this air reading? As Spirit, what would you like for the air signs to know as a combined with this reading, the rest of the cards? Earth, school, life lessons, soul grow, study, higher learning. This is beautiful. This is amazing. So you're learning life lessons. You're learning how to grow. You're learn you're paying attention to things that happen throughout your life. And you're making better decisions, Earth sign. I'm sorry, not Earth sign. You could be dealing with the Earth sign. Okay. So, but this your it air sign. It's like you are making better decisions. Um, you've learned, you your soul has grown. You could even be going back to school because it says higher learning. So you could be going back to school, thinking about taking up a trade, thinking about going back to college, thinking about doing something that's going to help you advance, going to help you grow in life. Um, 
you're lear you've learned so many lessons. I get you've learned a lot of lessons in a short amount of time. And I get that it has been healing for you as well. So you're seeing yourself in a better predicament. You're seeing yourself in a better place. You're willing to let go of something, some sort of bad habit that has kept you stuck, that has caused you not to have financial abundance or stability or wealth, something that you felt chained to, connected to, like you couldn't break free of, even a controlling person or a controlling substance. It's like you're letting it go because you want prosperity and abundance and financial stability over whatever it is that's keeping you stuck. That's the end of the reading. This is a beautiful thing. I love this because this speaks of nothing but growth, prosperity and abundance. I, yeah, this is this is amazing. I love it, air signs. Okay, sending you nothing but love. Hit that like, share and subscribe button and I will talk with you soon.